What do you call someone who speaks three languages? Trilingual. What do you call someone who speaks two languages? Bilingual. What do you call someone who speaks one language? British, of course. Ha 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 ha. Yes, a funny joke, I know. And it's funny, because let's face it, it's true. But why are the British so bloody bad at foreign languages? In the third part of my Julian in Amsterdam series, uh, one of my favourite videos uh, to date, by the way, I talked about the question, why are the Dutch so good at English? And in the comments section, uh, I got a great, well, comment. That Dutch guy said, we're good at French and German too. Why are the British so crap at other languages is a better topic for a video, I'd say. And indeed, I think that is a great topic for a video. Is it actually true that the British are indeed crap at foreign languages? Well, the European Commission did a survey and uh, yes, it turns out that we are rather rubbish when it comes to learning foreign languages. 62% of people reported that uh, no, they indeed don't speak any other language other than English. 38% of people report that they speak at least one foreign language, though of course it is important here to realise that it's not stated how well they might speak those languages. So although 38% of people reported that they do speak another language, uh, how well and whether that goes beyond hello or not is not clear. 18% of people reported that they speak two foreign languages and just 6% of people said that they spoke three. All in all, Look, the Brits aren't great at learning foreign languages. Part of the reason for this, of course, is that, well, if we're perfectly honest, the United Kingdom has a history of not befriending other cultures and learning their languages, but uh, pushing their way in, taking over the country, and uh, forcing you guys to learn our language. But really, simply put, the answer to the question, why are the Brits so crap at foreign languages, is pretty much exactly the same as the answer to the question, why are the Dutch so good at English? It's all about attitude. Us Brits have totally the wrong way of thinking about foreign languages. To us, foreign languages are strange, alien, unfamiliar things that we know nothing about. It's not like it is in, say, Holland or, say, Sweden, where much of the media may be in English, and people grow up exposed to English in a way that means that when they come to then learn it at school, they're already familiar with the language. It's not this strange, weird, alien thing to them. It's something that they already know quite a lot about and are already, again, quite familiar with. I mean, take French, for example. I, like most British kids, learned French at school. But the first time I was ever exposed to French was when I was 12 and we learned colours and animal names. Not exactly the most stimulating of content. This isn't, of course, to say that you have to start as a kid to get good at a language. I was first exposed to Japanese in my early 20s, and I started learning when I was 23, and I did pretty well, thank you very much. But rather, it's to say that it's all about familiarity. If you are familiar with something when you start learning it, it's obviously going to be much, much easier than if you have never, ever heard anything about that thing. Aside from attitude, another problem that us Brits face is quite simply that it can actually be quite hard to find situations where we are actually required to use a foreign language. Even if we want to do it, often, <laughs> things just switch to English. I know a guy of French ancestry who lives in Ottawa. He grew up speaking English and wanted to learn French. But 
whenever he tried to use French with somebody, despite the fact that Ottawa is very much a bilingual city, those people would instantly realize that English was his first language and switch to English. This happens to most of us most of the time. English is the de facto lingua franca. It's the language that people use between themselves in business. If you have an Italian person speaking with, say, somebody from Holland, they are gonna speak in English, or most likely they are going to speak in English anyway. So it's pretty obvious that when a British person comes in, they're not suddenly going to switch to Italian just because we've got a British person here and, you know, hey, the British person has to speak Italian. No, work is going to get done in English. That is what everybody is familiar with. That is what everybody is used to. Meaning, <laughs> again, there is very, very little pressure put upon the British to learn foreign languages. Combine that with the uh, less than productive attitude and we don't tend to get very far. On this, let's get some discussion going in the comments. Head down to the comments and answer this question. If English were not the de facto language of international business, if, say, Chinese was the language that everybody used between each other to do business, would you actually bother to learn English? Let us know in the comments. Let me just finish this video by saying that there are, of course, people in the United Kingdom born and bred Brits who are pretty bloody good at foreign languages. Thank you very much much, just like I'm sure there are people in, say, Holland who are rubbish at English. I personally think I happen to be one of the uh, Brits good at foreign languages. I learned Japanese to a very advanced level as an adult. Would I have done so if I hadn't have found myself in a situation where I needed the language? Uh, honestly, probably not, but hey, I had little interest or knowledge in Japan or Japanese culture before I came to this country. So, um, hey, that's a circumstance for you, I guess. Related to this topic, members of my English learning community, Julian Northbrook's League of Extraordinary English Speakers, are encouraged to check out the lesson Stan, the stick in the mud, where we followed a conversation between a group of people in the office talking about the role of English in the world and how did you know English actually isn't even the most common language in the world? Indeed, it's not even the second or third in terms of number of native speakers. If you are not yet a member of my English learning community, you can and should become one by heading over to doingenglish.com slash membership. There's a link in the description. Ah ha ha. Funny joke, I know, but it's funny because it's true. Hi, I'm Julian Northbrook from doingenglish.com and why are the British so bloody bad at English? I just, why are the British so bad at English? Wait a minute. Well, actually, no, that's a fair question. Screw it, start again. <laughs>